Hello everyone. So I've been getting a request recently a lot to have a snake room slash collection video. And I managed to get my room slightly in order, finally, so I can show you guys what I have. Here's just a general look. The large cage at the bottom holds the water corpus. And then on top of that we have two glass cages where I have um, the yearling Sydney death adders, Acanthophus antarcticus. On top of that I have two wooden cages in which I have the uh, Dajara death adders, the Acanthophus subspecies Dajara desert. And those are being cooled right now, that's why their lights are off. On top of that I have a select set of video games from Blizzard that I like to display. And to the right of all this, I have a small aquarium where I have a puffer fish. If you can find her, let's see. There she is. Yep, small puffer fish as our family pet. And then next to the aquarium, we have a wooden cage there I have one of my Naja Cayutia, the monocult cobra, the orange pastel one. On top, another Acanthophus cage, the uh, Acanthophus Hawkeye female. Here, I have uh, the Crotolus, the unicolor, the Aruba Island Rattler. Below, covered, I have the cages for the Samar Cobras and they are covered because they are in full winter hibernation for a month before breeding. Next to it I have a rack for five ball pythons. The top two racks are also being cooled down for breeding. The bottom three house smaller snakes. Next to that at the bottom I have a glass aquarium which will house the um, leucistic monocled cobra when he is larger. But right now he is in the plastic box as you can see within the glass box and I have uh, four Indian ornamental centipedes, the hard veki or something. And on top another account of a account of a cage, the male Hawkeye. So let's go to the cages close up. I'm just gonna skip well let's look at it. It's probably not going to be visible. There's a snake there, as you can see. But again, this is hibernation and the glass reflects terribly, so let's not look at the dark cages. Here I have the male Sydney death adder. If I can find him, obviously I don't see him in this leaf letter. But yeah, he is on this side. Yeah, we can see a tiny bit of him. The female, we probably won't be able to see. Oh, I see her. She's hiding there. Uh, she's much smaller um, due to her bad eating habits, but she's still alive. All right, at the bottom, we have our water cobras. And funny enough, they are acting fully arboreal. They have been just transferred to this giant cage. Uh, this cage is divided into two and I have each snake here on separate containers. But as you can see I have a very nice portion with some moss, water, height place, whatever. But he wants to hang on top. I'm gonna get a cover for that light so it doesn't burn them. Let's look at the other one. The same story. She's up on that ledge, sunning, but even when lights are off, she hangs out there as well. Very interesting behavior from water cobras that I didn't expect. I mean, cobras in general, they like high places as they are safe, but these are lake dwellers. Very unexpected. All right. 
let's look at the giant um, wooden cage for a very small cobra. Ah, oh, this is good. She was just drinking the orange pastel. But I kind of disturbed her. Hello. Yes, always ready for show. Always. So there's a red light bulb there, which is distorting the colors a bit. I'm going to change that. That's what I have for now. But on Monday, I'm going to get a proper light. And I think I'm going to get a lower voltage because this cage is quite warm. But as you can see, she's doing all right. And she wants to come out. So, yeah, 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 yeah. I know. She's always, she's always angry. All right. <clears throat> um, let's have a peek at the summers. As you can see, it's completely dark in there and they are hiding their hide boxes, so we won't be able to see them. All right. On top, as you can see, we have our beautiful Protolus, the Unicolor Rattler. She just shed and she's just, I mean, this snake absolutely looks spectacular. Amazing animal. All right, let's close her cage as well and get to the rack. So on the top rack, I have the vanilla female. On the bottom, on the second one, I have the um, vanilla cream male. I'm gonna pass those because again, they're also in hibernation. Here we have the beautiful Super fire champagne girl who is definitely hungry and ready to eat There's some condensation on the sides that I need to clean off because she just shed and I was keeping her cage a bit humid Here we have the pied male pied uh, possible leopard male as you can see and Here we have the Mystic Potion female, Mystic Potion yellow belly. She is also hiding. You know, I'm I got these snakes, but I really am not that much into non-venomous. So, you know, I don't know how long I will have them. As you can see, here is the friendly neighborhood Lucistic Cobra. Pissed as always. Um, he will inherit this cage when he gets a bit bigger. Right now the cage will just stress him. And here we have the centipedes. Let me show one of them to you. Huh. He didn't need. That's the centipede. As you can see. And that's pretty much it guys. So I will end on this note with this beautiful centipede. And I hope you enjoyed this video. This was requested several times by different people. Uh, my snake room is still evolving. But this is what I have currently. And I hope you liked it. Alright. Take care. Bye.